Yo, welcome back everybody. Today we have gameplay from Galewing, and it's time to pay that Leaf Rockers tax because it never fails to make me chuckle. Gotta be my favorite composition in this meta, and it's never been better. With the double Baron effect stacking, the ability to play toward Reborns, the fact that a lot of tribes, specifically Undead, have very, very few ways of countering Leaf Rockers, makes it an absolute powerhouse in this meta. So even though we can be memeing and we can play for these, you know, silly little jumping frogs, we can also be winning games in the process. So is it really even a meme? Probably not. All right, enjoy. Thanks for clearing it up. Not a problem. I'm just trying to interpret too. Warden of Old's real good. Bird Warden of Old? Are we memeing? Are we old school? I mean, it's always Warden of Old here. Wow, this is just like, this is just good. I like Banner Boar too. The fact that we won't go first is a little annoying. We want the extra gold. In two turns, we don't really need it, is the thing. We don't make use of that gold well. We could take a 2 2 buff. Double buy next turn, set up the, the three turn. Then we go four to five. Three on three curve, we don't actually need this gold. That's why it's awkward when you get a token start that like the old three into three is so much better than three into two. Hit here with this one. Nice. I'll take it. Two gold. Feels good, man. That went about as well as that possibly could have gone. Seems like an order lol from Blizzard. Yeah, it does sound like a an oopsie. I didn't see that one coming. No, neither did anybody else. He went to four. Nah, he's not that weak. If we go to four... And tried to hold like faceless. That's such a troll. Yeah, why not? Moon! I mean, we're just going to level and buy anyway. With another Warden of Old? Three turns on Discover? We go first, we get the gold, you need to die! You can do it! Die! No. Still a chance. Boo! <laughs> Filling out board seems worth it to get the coins. Yeah, it's a little bit of value, but it's not really that high if he goes to four like that. The upside of the one extra coin may not be worth staying down a tavern tier, but the fact that we have exact gold and we actually had a pretty good hit here with this card makes it somewhat reasonable. Because if we could go to four, then just go to five, and then go to six, we could discover a six on turn seven. And if we don't lose that round in the process, it'd be worth it. Still one of the most fun days on, on Twitch that I've ever had was the day we forced meme comp elemental every single game. 
that the day that they changed genie so that it gave you an elemental whether you had an open board space or not and we just like repeatedly slammed that shit oh man that was a funny one good value trade considering that we're losing this round the value trade's pretty damn nice now we're not losing this round and we even got an extra coin oh shit <laughs> I said I did say 3 to 7 at first and went nah it's 3 to 6 lies it's 7 mama ooh 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 We need to use some coins, otherwise we're going to burn our discover. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> all right, well. All right, 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 all right. How do we do this most effectively? We could taunt up one of them. Or we could just hold two coins. I don't think we try to taunt here. Are we blind? Are we blind at what? Are we blind at what? Why are we blind? I can't see chat. I only click. Man, that is just like an apt description of a streamer. We're blind and we only click. We are basically just clickers. Nope. Yep. Won't we burn coins now? How many coins do you think this is? How many coins do you think this is, Jet? Can we count collectively as a community? How many coins we get in here? You have a pretty extreme example that it's more than eight. <laughs> or that it's more than six. You gotta get Baron and Macaw to live through the, the uh, combat. All the way through and one of the Wardens to attack a second time. Police is good. I love the brute. It's so cute, but I'm going to be beasts. Fuck it. We got beast stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six gold. The vast majority of the time. We're looking for like elite froggers or goldron to play really. But in the meantime, let's keep printing gold. Gain two gold. Yeah, sure. We can be anything we want with this board. I mean, I like the brute because you know the coins, but we're going to be out of these coins very quickly. Could it be as early as next turn? That's one million dollars. Yeah, I take a pretty extreme example to get eight coins from that fight. The only way it happens, you have to trigger the Macaw a second time with Baron alive and with a Warden of Old alive. So they all would have to value trade. You piece of shit. You enormous pile of horse manure. Why are you killing my, my Titus? Why are you playing around Cleave so effectively? Why are you being so mean and shit? He got himself a mid-game coils. Very, very mediocre. Casual Leroy, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure everyone just has a giant RNG buff against us today. Leroy just pulling, pulling, you know. Casual Leroy out of the coiler. No big deal. Why are you like this? Well, we got a ghost. Life is good. Everything's fine. That fell stomper. Be a 13, 18. But I don't think we really play toward death rattle here. Got a Manted. 
Got ourselves a magma lock and a mantid and a bran. Be a different comp. Feels a little bit late for that. We got Baron number two. Looks like we're leapers, boys. Macaw number two. All right. I want to use Gat Go. Might just be you, actually. that this dies is so annoying you know what fuck it let's do it this way you're not gonna hit it it's not gonna happen I'm telling you you're not gonna hit it one two three four five six seven eight nine max We also need to not die, you know. I don't expect to die with this board, but but still. His board's a, a wee bit smaller than what we just lost to last turn. Pog. Just hit this one now and we get full gold. We knew that there was a risk, like we don't, wouldn't get the extra one, but... I'm not going to burn the gold for the sake of if we get perfect hits, we can get the extra one gold off of it. Most of the time, we won't get perfect. All right. We're going to need a Goldrin or a Leapfrogger real quick. This is cute. Could have gotten it last turn. It would have been useful. Uh, no. Leapers. Not really caring about. I like the the Naga. There's a Goldrin. In the short term, Goldrin's a lot better than Leaf Frogger. Because we're just going to die with this Leaf Frogger on the board right now. One bad hit on the opening leap and it, we just lose. Well, we get, did get the Rat Pack as well. It's closer now. I think it's still Goldrim for the turn. need to not be dead that would be like swell here see gold find frog do it do it now let's not go implode to to bullshit Like, I'm really worried about my gold ring getting its proc after getting procs up front. As long as we don't have it sniped immediately, we'll be fine here. Who you got tomorrow? Go birds. Go birds. I'm not, a, I'm not an either team fan, but watching enough of this season, I think I'd rather see the birds pull it off over the Chiefs. Caw, caw, caw. <laughs> Go birds. How about you, HMC? I've seen enough of the Chiefs doing well recently. What are the teams? The teams? Chiefs, Eagles are in the Super Bowl tomorrow. My money's on Philly, so I'm with you. Hell yeah, brother. 
Hell yeah, brother. Are we ever horse for this board? Because we're probably Goldrin on this board. Can we pick it up? We're like one card away. One of these guys, you or you triple, and we're going to need something in its spot. I'm not playing this. Good luck, Leaper boy. Get him. Cheering for a Philly team, Sag. Yeah, it feels a little bit weird, not going to lie. As a person in Ohio, and being a Browns fan, which is just like, it's just a tragedy in itself. It was hard for me to even root for the Bengals. I had friends that were that are Bengals fans, and it's okay to be like, you know, I support you and hope your team does well, but I, I just can't. I just can't, man. There's a lot of animosity in the AFC North. And then watching the Chiefs obliterate them, and not even obliterate. It was more like the Chiefs didn't want to lose the AFC championship as much as the Bengals did. That was a sad display for like the, the the end of the first half. It was rough. Now I'm just kind of on board with the, the birds. Great. Win second, small taunt. It's a nice hit at least. Oof, that one could have been bad. Could have been though. Right? Could have been. We Gucci. We got enough going. Got enough going for ourselves over here. My team can't win, then my friends' teams must suffer too. <laughs> yeah, there's a little part of that. That you're like, I want you to feel what I feel right now. And that's disdain. Animosity. Nah, not really. We were kind of out of it the whole season. When we decided to trade away our entire franchise for a... Let's say a... A less than desirable bullshit human being of a quarterback. It was going to be a rough season anyway. Oh, who was out for two-thirds of the... Two-thirds of the season, too. No big deal. Kill the locker room in the process. A massage enjoyer. Yeah. Yeah, about that. There's a certain point where you're just questioning whether or not you should even watch the team. All you bring is sadness to my life. Every season is a new exercise in disappointment. We really traded half of our entire franchise, or traded the entire tr franchise for a half-eaten Snickers bar. Yeah, pretty much. You just bring disappointment, you know that? Nobody can relate to us Browns fans, we're the worst of the worst. I mean, somehow this season was more disappointing than when we traded our, or we, we lost our entire franchise and they moved to Baltimore. Somehow this season was worse, or the offseason was worse. Yeah, I had a friend that was a lifelong Browns fan. Just lifelong Browns fan. Grew up in Cleveland. Went to the games all the time. So disappointed with them for so long. And then moved to Buffalo. <laughs> and he must have just like... Yeah, I'm just going to assimilate at this point. Because I'm just going to be a Bills fan. It's way better over here. <laughs> he moved to Buffalo for work reasons. And it was like... No, nope, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be a Buffalo fan from now on. That's way better than dealing with this shit. Don't hit the Baron. And you know, I kind of envy him a little bit. Like, yeah, that franchise seems way more interesting. Babsy, there's a lot of buffs for him. We're gonna need our Barons not to get obliterated here. All right, we did get the bird. The bird's kind of a nice hit. Because there's no reborn there. 
Uh huh. It means at least one of our Makaz goes off. Whether we have Baron alive or not is a big debate. Looks like a no, but or a yes, and that'll be good enough. Unfortunately, if we do not hit the Zap, it will kill the Baron. It will kill the Baron. So we do small damage. It wasn't going to be lethal anyway. Wait, it's the Ravens of Baltimore, right? Yes, it is. Baltimore Ravens. Used to be the Cleveland Browns, and then they, uh... We lost the franchise. They moved to Baltimore. And they became the Ravens. And then we reformed a few years later. I, I love it. If we just had a taunt right about now. But that was like 90s. Like a while back. We're still a little bit bitter. Where are my taunt minions though? I think I have to let it go. I think I play Blanche. And use the gold to go find a taunt. Uh-huh. How about we use the gold to not find a taunt? Are you a little bit bitter? Very bitter, Madge. The bitterest. My god. We are just like... YOLO this shit with Blanche on the board? needs taunt and leapfrogger not this guy better die you better die at least we're zap immune oh shit man horsey no right, a horse didn't kill the, the baron that's a start we also didn't trigger the, the sewer rat, which kind of sucks, but then he gets a baron. Didn't trigger the sewer rat again? What? Man, this game's dumb. Man, that's a good start. Get a big rat. Too bad. So sad. At least they didn't get lethal. 26 percenter. The ghost got this guy. We could have won that one. Ah, this time we got it for sure. We're going to find useful minions. He's totally not going to. All right. Thank you. To play a small taunt that griefs our leapfrogger. You ever read that he plays small taunt and we lead Macaw Wind Fury? Instead of leading Leapfrogger. <laughs> that would be like... He's going to do that, right? We'll just beat ourselves if, if he doesn't. My god. We can't play this. so sketch I like the stats though I'm just gonna play six minions this is an irrelevant card to us I mean it could be Uther actually get a froggy boys Nice. We got him. Looking forward to seeing this. I mean, when we play six minions, we just do it that way every time. It's just better to play six and lead, lead, lead the Wind Fury. Then we can get lucky off of it. We were looking for any Divine Shield. Orgozoa and Uther were big hits here. I just didn't get around to it. Do we kill him? It looks pretty damn close now, doesn't it? 
The Barons are still alive. That should do it. Yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Sleepers. <laughs> Not sleepy. Actually, I, I, I shouldn't pretend like I didn't know that was sleepy. I never said anything about it being sleepy, but it was actually my read. He's always going to play small taunt because he's a really good player and he knows what to do against exactly what our board was. Thinking that he's going to try to play that to counter us. That was funny. We found Double Baron, and then we just kind of found Leaf Progress eventually. We had some pretty YOLO boards there in the middle.